and it's very quiet, extremely strong. And there it is, the smallest and lightest six axis robot arm from Elephant Robotics. But with the robot operating system, we're gonna be able to connect to the NVIDIA Linux-based Isaac Sim robot simulator. And then I'm going to be able to bring this robot in as a simulation into NVIDIA Isaac Sim and create this robot as a simulated robot in a simulated environment for training with synthetic data and in set and a synthetic industrial warehouse or any environment that I want in NVIDIA Collaborative Omniverse Metaverse. And then that's going to allow me to also control the robot with computer vision and do many different artificial intelligence tasks uh, through NVIDIA Omniverse. So that's why I'm really excited to use the ROS, the robot operating system, in tandem with the NVIDIA Isaac Sim robot simulator and robot control system. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this on and then we're going to set up a program so that we can then initially operate the robot and have it move and manipulate the robot. And I'm very excited. This is such a great collaborative robot. It's very strong. And you're able to really manipulate the features on the robot through the programming and also how fast the joints move and the arms move and everything. Hi everyone, this is Cliff and I'm so excited. I have the My Cobot Raspberry Pi version from Elephant Robotics. And I'm so excited because this is the smallest and lightest robot arm out there. So we're going to unbox it right now. It just came from Hong Kong. We really wanted to get a robot with the mixed reality glasses and the robot arm. And we're working with a lot of ESP32s, Raspberry Pis, Arduinos. We have a uh, tuning fork set there. We set up some lasers, servos with lasers on them, and a passive infrared system. Uh, it's really nice. We have the right here ESP32 cam with an extended camera, and that's Wi Fi and Bluetooth enabled. And we have FLIR cameras back here FLIR thermal imaging cameras. We're so excited and working with big lasers and love the. Uh, wicked laser so right here i'm opening up the robot my cobot pi and we're so excited we have this six axis collaborative robot and we're going to unbox it and then we're going to set it up and we're going to have a robot arm and it's going to be really great and then we're going to do thermal imaging and computer vision machine learning and all that with this incredible elephant robotics my cobot pi robot arm the smallest and lightest six axis arm so we're so excited about that and right here we're able to stick the arm here onto the desk and then place the robot on that and it uses lego mind spring parts right here lego mind spring so we can connect lego mind spring we can connect lego robot parts with these connectors to the robot. So we're so excited here. <laughs> this is so amazing. Woohoo! Okay, we have a power unit, power cord, this is HDMI, some micro HDMI. Alright, let's pull the robot out. Here it is. So beautiful. And there it is, the smallest and lightest six axis robot arm from Elephant Robotics, the My Cobot Pi. And soon we're gonna get some extra parts for it to do autonomous work with it and uh, AI machine learning. For now, we're just going to set it up. It's going to be incredible, and we're going to program it with the Ross Robotic Programming Language. I'm so excited about our new companion robot here, the beautiful MyCobot Pi, Raspberry Pi. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up really quick. So right here, we have this piece, this base piece, 
and it has these holes in it, and those are for Lego Mindstorm. Those are Lego Mindstorm joint, uh, Lego Mindstorm connectors. And what's really great is we have the effector here, and the effector is where we can add those, and then we can add our different robot hands and different uh, controls, a suction cup, all different controls here, and grippers and all that to the robot arm here. So what I'm going to first do is set this up. So we push these in real quick, and they fit in really nice and snug. And we'll do five of these, and then this is going to be the base. And we're going to attach this to the Mycobot here quick. And then this has, it comes with a little desk clamp. We're going to attach that desk clamp here, and then the clamp there, and the robot here. So let's do that real quick. Okay, that's on there. Now let's attach the clamp. Let's attach the clamp here. Clamp is attached. Clamp is attached. It's perfect and nice and tight. Okay, guys, I'm so excited because I have this robot here. This is the best robot out of CES 2022 Las Vegas. This is the smallest and lightest collaborative robot from Elephant Robotics. So I'm going to bring it up here. Right here, it's the Elephant Robotics MyCobot Pi. And it's called a MyCobot Pi because it actually has an entire Raspberry Pi right here with all the pins. So I can add all these sensors, I can do all this computer vision, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and it has a Raspberry Pi built in. So there's four USB, there's an Ethernet, here's the power, an extra on and off switch all custom made. On the side here are two micro USB, or two micro HDMI, and so we have one micro HDMI that's going out to this cable to this monitor here but it comes with a micro HDMI to HDMI so I can put it to a bigger monitor and so it has a Raspberry Pi in here and then of course you're going to need an external monitor but then you have an entire Raspberry Pi computer right here so we have this here we have this all set up in the back here is a small SD a small micro SD port and it comes included with a micro SD card. On the end effector up here we can add the Lego Mindstorm pieces and the end effector actually turns and rotates 360 degrees right here which is amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on and then the Raspberry Pi is going to turn on that's going to bring the Raspberry Pi on the screen and then we're going to be able to get in some programs ROS, the Robot Operating System, and another great one called RoboFlow. What is really exciting is up here on the top right here, it has a second computer. So right here, actually, you can see right here is a second computer. Not only do we have the Raspberry Pi, but we have an Atom computer. We have an Arduino computer, a tiny small Arduino computer, ASP32 Pico Matrix, and we're so excited. We have a whole number of ESP32s over there because everyone was using Arduino or Raspberry Pi, which is much more powerful, but now they've come out with these extremely small, like this, ESP32 microcontrollers, which is a self-contained computer which is USB powered and we can connect peripherals and cameras and it has a GPIO pins so we can add sensors up here on the top and it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. 